welcome back to my channel. This is Raya. Now, first of all, I would love to thank you. And my chair is moving. <laughs> the bonus part because I know you want to talk about money, okay? I know this. love to thank you all guys because we finally reached 4,000 subscribers oh my god guys I cannot believe like um I'm still just you know like dreaming that I didn't expect that um, my channel will grow and this won't be happening guys I'm telling you without all of your support so really thank you thank you guys so much you guys are my inspiration for me to do well in my channel and I'm really trying my best to help uh, each and every one of you so I'm really really um, thankful and ending support so guys um, we can do this until the end uh, until we get that you know silver bottle <laughs> well who knows so so I'm gonna be here guys um, trying to support everyone uh, until you finally reach your goal uh, and that is to become a seafarer like me so okay so let us discuss this another topic that I think is very useful and very informative for those people who are just like you know waiting at their home for a joining date I mean you know let's talk about the finances how you can um, save or how you can uh, manage your finances while you are on board and I'm gonna discuss to you um, the things that you need to know regarding this matter so um, thank you by the way to mr. Uh, JM I don't know if that is your full name but anyway he's the one who suggested this content to me and I think it's very very useful for everyone so that they have a knowledge before they embark so thank you guys thank you again sir jm for this um, wonderful suggestion okay, before i start guys i would like to tell that uh, i don't have any idea how the other crew members are getting paid in other company so this is um just based on my um own experience so for those people who will be uh working under the same company as i am then at at least you guys have an idea regarding this let's proceed to question number one how do we get paid well some of you might be curious that we might uh, get paid by cash or are we getting paid like via direct to the bank account well the real answer is um, we are getting paid um, directly to our bank account so guys um, we seafarers actually have two bank accounts so we have our Philippine bank account which is I am from and um, the bank account we have on board I will discuss separately later regarding my uh, Philippine bank account so let's go ahead and discuss first regarding my bank account on board okay so we receive our salary every 10th of the month well sometimes you know it depends sometimes we receive it like eight or nine or seven, sometimes seven it actually depends on which the day 10 will be falling under on what week so suppose it's gonna be like saturday or sunday then obviously we will be uh, receiving it ahead of time so guys we all have everyone uh, on board have uh, an application called uh, brightwell so this is how it looks like so guys, um, once you embark, if you're a new crew, you have to go to the cashier and then they will set it up for you, okay? So you will have this Brightwell account. In this Brightwell account, we receive our salary here and it's just like an online banking, you know? If you have your bank account, it's just like an online banking. And then um, they will also um, give you a card, which is I have to cover my information here. So it, it looks like this one. See, it's called the Ocean Pay and uh, it's really cute guys actually if I can just show it to you uh, the design is like a literally ocean you know this card we uh, using this debit card if ever you want to go out or you want to withdraw you know and um, if you don't have cash yeah so we can uh, swipe this um, outside um, we are actually um, being paid by dollars okay so the USD is coming to my Brightwell account okay so question number two how am I going to transfer it or how am I going to remit it if ever my family needs it? So it's a really, really great question. So guys, actually in Brightwell, there is an option. Okay, here's a tutorial. There is actually an option in Brightwell wherein you can send it via Western Union. So for me, this is like the most um, effective and easier way for us to send money because 
Um, in the Brightwell platform, inside the Western Union website, you can actually send it directly to a bank account. So if your family have a bank account, it's much better because they can just uh, receive it instantly. Or if they don't have a bank account, then they can receive it, you know, via um, on the counter. The charge for sending money is actually $2.99 and the conversion of the money depends on the rate of the Western Union. So it can uh, vary from time to time. That is how I send my remittance. I mean, we don't need like to go out and then um, go to a remittance center because I think it's like um, rare to find one. So for us, it's very easy even when we're just like, you know, in our cabin lying down or sitting down everywhere just need to connect to the internet and just open the application we can set it instantly so number three uh, if you remembered earlier i said that i'm going to um explain my philippine bank account later so the later has come okay so i'm going to uh, explain to you guys bdo or banco de oro came to the agency and asked us if we are like interested to have a bank account on our own and it's gonna be under the uh, BDO Kabayan savings so maybe some of you are um, having a relative that is like OFW so guys the BDO Kabayan savings is a better option for us OFWs because uh, there is no maintaining balance here and you also get a passbook together with this card so you can keep track of your um, remittances or you can keep track to your money uh, whenever I actually receive my salary on board, which is in dollar, uh, every month I'm sending that money directly to my Philippine bank account. I mean, some of the crew are just like um, trying to save it inside the bri their Brightwell account. But for me, I don't like to put it there because I might spend it. So I don't like to spend it. So that's why I always like to send it every month here in my um, Philippine bank account. So by the way, guys, did you know that um, this um, Ocean Pay card, okay, that we I have in here, this Ocean Pay card actually you can use it everywhere. Okay, so you can use it like suppose it's in dollar and then you are in Europe, so it will just be converted into euro. So whenever you swipe, that's just all. Here in the Philippines, I also tried to use it, so it's also working here in the Philippines. So it's a very uh, convenient card for me. Last but not least, let's talk about allotment. So guys, I'm just going to explain real quick to you what is an allotment. If your salary is divided into two, onboard pay and allotment. Okay, so the onboard pay is the one that is uh, being sent to your Brightwell. Okay, as I explained earlier, and then the allotment is the one being sent to your family directly. Okay. An allotment is actually like um, I think only Philippines have this because my colleagues who are from Indonesia India or any other countries they don't have this they receive their salary whole in their account and then every month it's up to them how much they want to send to their family but for us guys for us Filipinos it's really uh, mandatory to have an allotment recorded into your uh, system okay so uh, allotment is uh, divided into I don't know how many you want, but for me, it's just going to be divided by two. Allotment A and allotment B. An allotment is um, going to be sent to your family. I mean, whoever family member you wanted to choose and who has uh, a bank account. So for me, I chose my sister because she's the one who has a bank account uh, in my family member and uh, she's the one handling this uh, allotment. So there is a percentage that will be sent to them. So it's up to you guys how much you want. Allotment B will be to yourself. Okay, Don't forget yourself, guys. You're the one who's working hard there. So I can say we are receiving one salary on this Brightwell and then we are also receiving an allotment on this card. So we get two payments at a time, you know. But what I'm receiving here is actually just a small amount, you know. It's actually just, it helps, okay. At least you receive something uh, by the end of your contract. You see that, oh, I was able to at least uh, save something in my Philippine bank account. So it helps also. <laughs> okay, let's talk about this, okay. Because this is like a bonus part. Because I know you want to talk about money, okay. I know this. I know you, okay. <laughs> so anyway, guys, um, we also have leave pay, okay. So what is leave pay? What is that? So I'm going to explain to you real quick as well. Well, actually, guys, a leave pay is um, being deducted to your salary per month. Well, for me, I'm being deducted by, um, before it was like around $75 per month. But now, uh, I forgot 
how much it will be but uh, it increases okay so it's being deducted per month so don't feel bad by every month that if ever like why is my salary kind of like less but just remember that guys they always deduct this certain amount of money for you every month and then by the end of your contract you will receive the whole amount of money that was deducted to you so that um, in your vacation you have like you know an extra money so if ever you did not able to save too much then at least you will not go home in empty pocket let's do the math even though i'm not good at math let's uh, use my deduction before suppose you're getting deducted 75 dollar per month so uh, your contract will run along with the uh, around like seven or eight months or nine months so just uh, do the math uh, 75 dollars times eight then you will get like around 600 dollars so see guys so it, it's like uh, you are they are saving it for you because they know that you might be sending all of your money at home or you might already spend it you know while you keep on going outside so guys uh, this is like a saving that you don't actually feel so that by the end of the contract oh my god I, at least i save around like 600 dollars or more like 650 or you know it depends on how how many months you stayed on board so it really helps guys so again guys thank you thank you so much for watching i hope you learned something from this topic once you go on board okay at least you have an idea how to manage your uh, money because money is such an important thing, isn't it? <laughs> Those people who are still studying, you know, waiting, or some people who are still waiting for the result of their interview, um, guys, I know you can make it, okay? You can totally make it. I know I'll be, if not under the same company as I am, I hope you get hired to other companies and all of us will become seafarers, okay? So I'm really hoping, I'm really praying that you will all reach your dreams and you will all reach your goals so i'm just here by your side and we'll try to help everyone okay so guys i am your friend when it comes to this and i'm gonna be your friend when it comes to everything so again this is Rhea, and i hope to see you next time bye